So, in other words, this middle door I can call AB. This middle portal I can call AB. Now, using this, I can find a way to achieve the result of going through this upper right place by a combination of the other things. So, if you think of uh, For instance, I can go through A. Well, I want to say it in another way. I want to, yeah, I want to, I want to come forward through B and down through A B, and that's. And that's the same as going down through here. Okay. So I come up through B, down through A, B. So this is B, A, B. I can get there by going B, A, B. I can do it with a row, too. But if I did this with a row, I can move it around for a bunch of directions. What? Yeah, why would it be, you wouldn't say B in first, or B, A, B in first? Oh, oh, I see. The, the point is, B and B inverse Coming up through B, you get, you get, achieves the same result as going down through B. And that's because going through twice gets you back to where you are. I mean, it, it switches. Going, going through one of the, just going around a little strand of the loop, loop switches between two, two worlds. It doesn't matter which way you go. And this is, this is, I mean, you can also consider that it might do something different going back the other way. But that makes it more complicated to figure out the whole answer. Okay. Now, here, I could think of going down through AB and coming back through A. And that will pull it through here. Okay, Down through here to the middle region, up through this region. And then I can just push it over to there. So this is the same as A, B, A. So I have B, A, B equals A, B, A. Now let's work out the map of the possible worlds we can get to. Remember, this, this, so this relation will always be true. So here we start with Earth. <laughs> and now we can go through the A, A doorway. We arrive at some other world. Um, who knows what it is? I mean, this is Oz, I guess. <laughs> we can go through the B doorway and we arrive at some other world. Wonderland. Wonderland, okay. Um, now, if we're here, if we go back through B, we'll get to Earth again. But we can go through A. And there's no reason it has to come back to where we started, so it won't. So, so we go through here. Let's, let's call this one, I'm going to call this one Narnia. Narnia stories use this very device. So this is going through A again. Um, or if I'm over here in Oz, I can go through B. And what is it? What? Shangri La. Shangri La. <laughs> okay, so A, B, that's the same as what I get by going through here. Now I can, I can perform an A again. And what I know is that A, B, A equals B, A, B. A, B, A equals B, A, B. And so, and, and this is the same thing as we get by going through this. And so this is um, Berkeley. <laughs> Berkeley. <laughs> OK, and this is all we can get to. This is everything we can get to. From every position, we know where we get to by A and where we get to by B. And all these rules are satisfied. If, well, the only rule is that B, A, B is like B, A. Um, so, so somehow from the trefoil knot, you got this hexagon. You get this hexagon of possible worlds caused by this sort of order two branching around the knot. And if I were to take this knot and rearrange it so it looks totally different, still, um, this diagram was formed only by the mathematical rules. I mean, by you know, it's formed by logic somehow. So I still, I still have to get the same six worlds. I 
might have different names or different roads between them, but I'd have the same six worlds. So, so that shows that the that, that, that is the basis for a proof that the travel in lot is really different from the unknown. Do you say this is a six-way branching? Well, well it's, yeah, it's a, I mean, the mathematical term would be it's, um, it's a six-sheeted branched cover of, yeah. There, there are six, six branches. I mean, it causes, even though just there, locally around the knot, there's always only two branches, it, it creates six branches overall because of the way the knot is linked into the knot itself. Maybe, let me do just one more knot to show. Go, go ahead. I, I don't understand because I understand where Narnia is. You don't understand where Narnia is? Yeah. Well, I could go through B yeah. and then through A. And Okay, that's a good point, actually. Um, see, if you start here and you go through AB, this is the arrow AB, which is going through the middle. You get to there. If you do AB again, you get here. And if you do A, B again, you get here again. So, in fact, going, you know, so going through through this A, B hole, you cycle among three worlds. You go from Earth to Shangri-La to Narnia. And so coming back the other way through this hole uh, cycles the other direction. So that, that's B, A goes to directly to Narnia. Uh, so, so even though Whenever you make a short cycle anywhere around the knot, you just switch between two two worlds. When you make this, when you go straight through the middle hole, the big hole, it takes three times to get back. And, and then, in one of those three is Narnia. I still don't understand how going around twice the same hole takes the back of your circle. I'm just making up the law of <laughs> physics, or law of mathematics. I mean. I, Okay. You know, suppose it was so, that going twice around gets you back to the same place, but going once around is someplace different. Okay. What is that what is that for? So what's the logical consequence of that? And this diagram is a bunch of consequences. So only the middle region has I guess it goes three times. Yes. Yeah, the other one only right. Yeah. So so um, before before you before you said it didn't matter which way you went through. But for this, are you saying you have to be consistent and always go from the top? Right. For, for A, it doesn't matter which you go through. And that's because going through A just amounts to going, making a short little loop once around the knot. So I'm thinking of it as if it has some physical property that, you know, going around once brings you to another world, and going around twice brings you back. So, so to get from this world to the other world, you can go this way or you can go the other way. Um, but now, but that's just for a, a loop that just circles around the knot itself. When the, the, the loop that goes through A B, if you try to go through A B and get back, see it's going around two strands in the knot. So who knows what happens? <laughs> you know, if you go just around one strand, it's supposed to switch between the two worlds. But I didn't. Specify that has to happen when you go around through more than one. You look through more than one, and in fact, the rules force it to close in three times. Yeah. For any n locations, could you could you design a knot that had the property, for example, if I had twelve places that I like to visit, and some of this magical tubing? Yeah. Is there a way I could design a sort of cosmic bark station? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I, I think for any number, can you get a knot? It, it has to have an even number. 